Whew, time to put on my nerdy glasses because in this video, I'm going to answer a question that has been asked a lot of times, which is, which is the best Pokemon to use in Pokemon Go? So first things first, let's understand that there are actually 18 typings, starting from the bug type all the way to the steel type Pokemon that are available in the Pokemon world. And it really depends on what you would like to use the Pokemon for and what you would like to use the Pokemon against. That really determines whether it is best in certain scenario. So whenever people ask me like, which Pokemon is the best Pokemon, my answer, in fact, my question to them will be, what do you want to use the Pokemon for? Because if you're going to tell me that, you know, Mewtwo is the best Pokemon out there to use in whatever scenario, really try using it to fight against Tyranita or in fact, against a uh, dark cry without focus blast Ooh, yep it's not gonna do well because um psychic is not gonna do well against dark type pokemon so in this video i'm gonna share with you guys the 18 typing and of course the best in terms of damage per second dps and also tdo which is total damage output for every single typing of the pokemon so we have to understand the difference between dps damage per second and also tdo first total damage output. So when we compare the difference between DPS and TDO, a Pokemon with high DPS would mean that its attack stat is super duper high, but its defense and stamina may not be as high as one that has high TDO. So a Pokemon with super duper high TDO would mean that, you know, it has really good defense and also really good stamina, basically HP, and maybe has pretty all right or good attack stats so that's why its tdo is really high it can survive really long and dish out you know a super duper great amount of damage over time whereas a high dps pokemon would be able to dish out you know a large amount of damage in a short amount of time so if we start off with the very first typing that i'd like to share with you guys which is the bug type pokemon well there are only two pokemon that we should look at first is pincer pincer has the highest dps in the entire game with Bug Bite and X Scissors, though, you know, Bug Typing isn't a really good option in most scenarios. In fact, if you use it for raids and also for gym purpose, it's not that great. So you might as well, you know, not even invest in the Bug Type Pokemon for now. So the Bug Type Pokemon that has high TDO would be Scizor. Scizor with Fury Cutter and X Scissors. With its typing, still typing, and a good bulk, it's actually able to survive long in a lot of scenarios other than against fire-type Pokemon because it suffers double yeah, pff, damage from uh, fire typing. Yeah. So the second typing that we need to look at are the dark-type Pokemon. So the best Pokemon to use for DPS, damage per second, as just to remind you guys, is Darkrai. Darkrai is a mythical Pokemon which you could only get during a certain amount of period. And with Snarl and Dark Pulse, it dishes out a lot of damage. I know um, Dark type Pokemon is not that useful in a lot of scenarios. In fact, if you compare Darkrai versus Gengar, Gengar would actually dish out more damage towards a Psychic type Pokemon. So the Pokemon that you want to look at if you want to have a high TDO, Dark type Pokemon is Tyranita. Tyranita is rank number one for that. With Bite and Crunch, you don't really need any exclusive or legacy move for the Tyranita to access Bite and also Crunch. And the third typing we're going to talk about are the Dragon Typing Pokemon. And the best, out of the best Dragon Type Pokemon that you can use for DPS is Rayquaza with Dragon Tail Outrage. Until, um, yep, um, Kyren comes into play. When that comes, um, that will take on both um, Rayquaza and also Garchomp. Alright, so Garchomp, it has the highest um, TDO in terms of Dragon-type Pokemon. And look at it! I don't have it registered in my Pokedex. Brandon, you suck. Yep, you need to get this soon, Brandon. But never mind with that, we're going to go into the fourth typing, which is the Electric Typing. So Electric Typing, yes, you guys should know. There's only Zapdos and Raikou, right? Right? Raikou? No. There is also Electivire. Electivire, in fact, with Thundershock and Wow Charge, dishes out more damage in terms of DPS than the none other legendary Raikou, which is my favorite. 
But Ryko has the highest TDO, that's why I love to use Ryko. And the fact that it has Wild Charge and Thunder Shock just puts it at the top of the top for electric type Pokemon. And next, the fifth typing would be the fairy typing Pokemon. So the Pokemon with the highest DPS would be Gardevoir with Charm and Dazzling Gleam. I guess uh, with the access to Charm right now, the fairy type Pokemon, they have gained a huge boost in terms of their damage. And of course, the Pokemon with the highest TDO would go to Togekiss. Yep, with Charm and also Dazzling Gleam. So moving on to the sixth typing, which are the fighting type Pokemon. So the Pokemon with the highest DPS would go to... Yeah, but Pokemon that I don't have maxed out. Lucario. Yeah, Lucario with Counter and Aura Sphere has just been boosted all the way to number one position. Before that, it was Machem with Dynamic Punch. So sad to say I need to look for another Lucario, a better Lucario to invest in and this Lucario is not so good as it's not a Hundo, not 98, but it's good for the Ultra League. And the fighting type Pokemon with the highest TDO would go to Machamp. Machamp with Counter and also Dynamic Punch. Why is my um, Cross Chop? You know why? Because I'm using it for PvP. But yes, Machamp with Dynamic Punch. Oops, I'm so sorry. Let me uh, heal that up. Okay. Yay, okay, is the Pokemon with the highest TDO for fighting type. So going into typing number 7, the fire type Pokemon. Yep, the highest DPS Pokemon would go to none other than a Pokemon that I didn't um, get or so. Lah. Blaziken, Blaziken with fire spin and blast burn. That would actually be the best, but unfortunately, I do not have that. Yeah, it would be Blast Burn and also Fire Spin, but I do not have a Fire Spin Blaziken at all. I'm so sorry, but it's cool. So the best Pokemon with the highest TDO for Fire type Pokemon would go to... Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? It's Hitran. La. Hitran with Fire Spin and also Flamethrower, right, which is a new move that... Uh, heat range just got let's see how many TMs do I need to use to actually get it oh pfft. okay two TMs got the flamethrower it is the best Pokemon for fire type for TDO however if you ask me which is the best fire type Pokemon overall I would still say it's Entei because Entei with fire fang and overheat or in fact with flamethrower in certain situation does a better job than a lot of the other fire type Pokemon so now let's go into typing number 8, which is the flying typing. So flying is over here and flying, we have a few options. The best option would go to Moltres, not with fire spin, but with wing attack and sky attack. So this is actually an exclusive legacy move Pokemon. I guess you could still go with Rayquaza if you do not have Moltres as your option. And the best Pokemon for TDO and is also Moltres lah. Because Moltres attack with a flying type move is just too great. So yeah, but anyway, most of the time we don't use flying type move, so yay, don't really need one, right? So we are about halfway through, and this is number 9, which is the ghost typing. So the ghost typing, we have a few options. And one of the options, and the best option, which a lot of you guys should know, is Gengar. Gengar with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. I don't think so. Shadow Claw Shadow Ball does not have the highest DPS. Leak and Shadow Ball has the higher DPS. And yep, I don't have a 100% Leak and Shadow Ball Gengar, but you know, I would actually have a perfect Giratina instead with Shadow Claw Shadow Ball, which happens to be the highest TDO for a ghost type Pokemon. So typing number 10 would be grass type. Grass type Pokemon, the best and the highest TDO Pokemon with grass typing would go to Roserade. Roserade with Razor Leaf and Grass Knot would dish out a crazy amount of damage. If you guys have not used this, even in PvP or whatever scenario, trust me, Roserade with Razor Leaf is just OP. And the grass typing Pokemon that has the highest TDO would go to Tangrowth. Tangrowth with Vine Whip and Power Whip. 
Yep, it's really good. I mean, you could also use Solar Beam, but Solar Beam takes a super duper long time to charge, but Power Whip does a better job since it's a two bar charge move. And next on number 11, the ground type Pokemon with the highest DPS does not go to Groudon. It goes to Excadrill. And Excadrill is uh, here, all right? And this has the highest DPS. Unfortunately, I do not have a good Drillber. So I'm still trying to get myself one, but I do have quite a few here and still trying to get myself a good one. Anyway, back to um, TDO now. Ground type Pokemon with the best TDO would go to Groudon. Groudon with Mud Shot and Earthquake is the best in terms of TDO. And um, if you ask me what's going to come in the future, I guess Landorus, but Landorus, um, wow, need to raid again. Even more raids. Yep. So anyway, we're going to go into the typing number 12, which happens to be the Ice type Pokemon. Ice type goes to none other than Memoswine. Memoswine is super duper OP. With Powder Snow and Avalanche, it dishes out damage like crazy. And to me, I still feel it is the best in terms of everything overall. But, you know, with 203 HP, it does not survive as long as this particular ice type Pokemon that has a bit more, a less health than um, Mamoswine. But the defense, the bulk that Reggie Ice have is just insane. With, no, 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 not Lock On. It's Frost Breath. And Brandon ran out of. Yeah, fast DMs to change. But it's Frost Breath and Blizzard that would do a good amount of damage. The highest TDO Pokemon for Ice type. Yep, Frost Breath, Breath over there. Frost Breath. Okay, I almost pronounced another word instead. But yep, Frost Breath is the best for Reggie Ice. Let's go into it. another typing that's not so crucial. Why? Because it's the normal typing. And normal typing, the. Pokemon with the highest DPS would go to Porygon Z. Unfortunately, I did not get Lock On also. You need to get Lock On with Hyper Beam, that would be the best, but who use normal typing Pokemon to do raids or like whatever purpose? And yep, the Pokemon with the highest TDO would go to Blissey. Yay! With Pound and Hyper Beam. Unfortunately, I also don't have TMs to get the Pound to show you guys. But it has a pound and hyper beam. Trust me on that. So going into typing number 14, which happens to be the poison typing and the highest DPS Pokemon with poison typing goes to Roserade again. But not with Razor Leaf and Grass Knot this time. You guys saw that it has Sludge Bomb. Yes, it has Poison Jab too. But Brandon wears a Sludge Bomb. So basically, if you combine Poison Jab and Sludge Bomb from both of those two Roserades, you get the best poison type attacker in terms of DPS. Um, but yeah, I, I don't use it. So anyway, um, the Pokemon that has the highest TDO for poison typing would go to Muk or Alolan Muk. Both of them can max out at 2757 at 100% IV. And yeah, with Poison Jet and also Gang Shot instead, not Sludge Wave, Gang Shot, you would be able to deal the highest TDO for poison type Pokemon. So the next typing, the 15th typing that we're going to talk about, which is going to do super effective to poison type Pokemon is Psychic. So Psychic type, obviously it goes to none other than the Holy Grail, Mewtwo. Mewtwo with Psycho Cut. I'm just kidding. It's Confusion. I'm getting confused now. Is it Confusion or Psycho Cut? It's obviously Confusion. Look at Confusion's damage. It's 20 versus Psycho Cut that only deals 5. Although the energy gain from Psycho Cut is slightly better than um, Confusion, but yeah, Confusion damage is just too, too, too great for the Psycho Cut to overcome in terms of energy. So that and Side Strike is the best Psychic type in terms of DPS. And of course, the Pokemon with the best and highest TDO does not go to Metagross, but it goes to Lugia. Not with Dragon Tail, but Extra Sensory and Future Sight, which I'm going to show you guys here. Extra Sensory and Future Sight. This is the most bulky psychic type Pokemon that you can possibly use, but do take into consideration the flying type that it has. So now we're going to look at the 16th typing, the Rock type. So Rock type, 
the highest DPS would go to none other than... Yeah, I don't have that Pokemon also, Brandon. Why don't you have it? But I'm going to show you guys here. It's Rampados. Rampados is the evolution of Cranidos. And I do have a good amount of Cranidos here with me. Oops, Brandon. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not supposed to type like that. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of Cranidos. I always save up Cranidos to trade to people. And yeah, I always, always save up all these Cranidos to save to trade to whoever that needs to get a good Rampados. And I need one too, but I don't really need it that desperately. Why? Because Tyranita is really, 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 really good on its own. So Tyranita with Smackdown and Stone Age, that's your also a very, very good option. In fact, that is the highest TDO in for rock type pokemon that's why i prefer to use uh, tyranita for those of you who haven't uh, realized yet after listening to me talk for like the 16 typings i normally power up pokemon with high tdo not high dps why because of the way i play the game so normally when i do my raids i normally do tap and go means i do not station myself at the gym after the battle has started to continue to battle the raid boss instead after the battle starts i actually drive off and move away from the gym so that's why i need pokemon with a good amount of damage but also has good bulk and not glass cannons yeah so it really depends on how you are actually playing the game how you are going to you know utilize your potions and revive so, so if you want to use pokemon that allows you to conserve your potions and revive the best pokemon to use are the pokemon with high tdo and not the ones with high dps i mean imagine if you go for a raid and you use like six gengars versus someone who uses six giratinas by the time you are done using five of your gengars maybe the person who used six giratinas would only have to revive like three or two giratinas instead of reviving five so essentially you have to use two times more resources to heal up your Pokemon if you're using glass cannons versus Pokemon that have high TDO. So anyway, back to the next typing, which is ha which happens to be the second last typing or so, the steel type Pokemon. So steel typing, let's see now, steel type, steel type. All right, this one is just hands down, only one Pokemon for both DPS, TDO, and overall usage. Metagross. Metagross, a steel and psychic type Pokemon because of Meteor Mesh. Meteor Mesh is just too, 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 Imba. And <laughs> it's just too good. So there are no other Pokemon. Even Dialgia with a Metal Claw and Iron Head does not stand a chance against that Meteor Mesh that, <sighs> yeah, Metagross has. So Metagross is really the thing to use. If you want to, you know, use for whatever purpose, if you need a steel type Pokemon. So now let's move on to the last and final typing that I'm going to talk about the water type Pokemon, which happens to be the best. It happens to be, it happens to be, it happens to be, 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 be a Pokemon that I don't have. Yeah, Kingler. Kingler with Bubble and Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer was introduced just a few months back and it's a very, very OP move. And unfortunately, I've not prepared any of it yet. Yeah, but my has legacy much short, and I'm using for PvP. But Crab Hammer for PvE, as in player versus environment, is just OP. It's just insane. And the Pokemon that you want to use with high TDO would go to Kyogre, not with Thunder and Blizzard. This is the move that I use for PvP, but I do switch about when I need to. But this is the move that you want to have. No, this is not the move you want to have. Alright, this is not the move you want to have. I'm going to show you guys the move that you want to have, which happens to be... No, that's not the move you want to have. Okay, let's see. How many DMs do I need to use to get it? No, that's still not the move you want to have. Alright. This is still not the move you want to have, Brandon. You're going to use TMs to like spam. This is the problem about TMs, which we need to keep using to try to get a move that we want. And Kyogre only has four charge moves. I'm not gonna unlock. Aha, that's the one that I'm talking about. Surf. So Kyogre with Surf, 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 Kyogre with Waterfall and Surf, Kyogre with Surf. So yes, that is the Pokemon that you want to look at if you want a Pokemon. 
that is water typing with super high TDO. So yeah, that is it from me. Hopefully you guys have gotten a better idea on what the best Pokemon are in Pokemon Go, not only in terms of just overall best Pokemon, because to be honest to me, there is no such thing as a best best Pokemon in Pokemon Go. It depends on your situation, it depends on what you want to use it for, it depends on the move that it has, also it depends on the resources that you actually can afford to dish out to power them up, and of course depending on what purpose you want the Pokemon to serve you for, like whether do you want to take down the red boss as quickly as possible or do you want to conserve on your potions and revive it really really depends on your kind of play style so that is it from me hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you guys have don't forget to leave a like and also to let me know in the comment section down below if this video has been a great help to you guys and if you guys want me to make more of such videos sharing with you guys my knowledge sharing with you guys whatever that i know in terms of whatever that you guys need to power up and also to prepare for the future and yep, there are also other future Pokemon that will be better than some of the Pokemon that I've mentioned, including Zekrom for electric type Pokemon and whatever Pokemon that I've not mentioned, which I don't want to mention in this video. But if you guys want me to talk about them in the future for future videos, do let me know also in the comment section down below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I will sign out from now. Okay, anybody wants a, a Pokeball? Yeah, we have a Pokeball here. Alright, see you guys. Bye.